It's so busy. It's incredibly overwhelming, the amount of stuff that's going on. No, this is nuts. This is insane. <sighs> Those cars have actually crashed. That blue one is in the back of the white one. Is this a one-way road? Am I getting mugged off here? They're aggressive. They have scant regard for the road rules. They have accidents a lot. People everywhere all over the world know that Italy has the craziest drivers on actually probably some of the most fun to drive and beautiful roads. I think my driving's the best. So let's see if I can hold up on the Italian roads versus Italian drivers. Set off in second gear there. That's how good my driving is. The mission of this video is I'm gonna go into Milan and find some pizza. I also need to not crash the car because I've paid a 1,000 euro, sorry, 1,100 euro security deposit. So if I crash the car, this will be an extremely expensive video. Fiat 500. Let's see how many Fiat 500s we can spot. Count. <laughs> Shut the hell up. It's a classic Fiat 500. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this so much. On the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, it just looks, everything looks beautiful. Look at this. We just wouldn't get that in England. It's so pretty. Fiat 500 count. Cool. Turn right. Look at that. It's a Minions bollard. I love it. Uh, Fiat 500 count. <laughs> Don't you think that Italian, the language sounds so good. This road that we're turning onto is called Via Fratelli Bandiara. In England, we'd get Sloan Street. Meet you on Sloan Street, bro. Ah, Dove è la Via Fratelli Bandiara? Left here, for sure. It only takes like five minutes to get used to driving on the wrong side of the road. I know that we are on the right, so people that aren't from England say that they are right because they drive on the right, which is right. And we drive on the wrong side, the left, but this is the wrong side of the road. We're on the wrong side of the road and it doesn't take long to get used to it. If you haven't driven abroad, you really need to. It's the best way to explore. In fact, no, I'll take that back. The best way to explore somewhere new is on a city bus. You know the buses, like a tourist bus, where they take you around and tell you about the sites, but really then you only get to explore the After city. Yards, turn right, then turn left. Like I'm heading towards Milan and they'll only show you Milan. Like look at all of this stuff that you'll miss. But it's not difficult to drive here. Maybe, just maybe, the fact that people in Italy drive like lunatics is a bit of a myth. The four Fiat 500s in a row. Okay, we've properly made it into Milan now and it's busy. It's much more fast and frantic than it was in the little towns that we were in before. Still remembering my first mission, which is just don't crash. So mission one is don't crash the car. Mission two is survive driving in Italy. Mission three is don't piss off the locals. And mission four is find some pizza. Wish me luck. Is this a one way road? Am I getting mugged off here? No, it's not. There's motorbikes coming this way. Why, is, why are they overtaking on the wrong side of the road? Italy. Okay, there's pedestrians on green. The pedestrian lights are on green. And I'm on green. What the hell? You got to admit though, even though the roads are a bit mental, the view is stunning. Cross the roundabout. Not comfortable. And take the first exit. It's so ridiculously busy. Look at how many people that wow though. Wow. It's so busy. It's incredibly overwhelming the amount of stuff that's going on here. I don't know whether the Do you have to look at the pedestrian lights as well then? To wonder whether they're on green while you're on green too? Because that definitely happens. Uh oh. What's going on here? I'm on, a dual I'm on the correct side of the dual carriageway? After Hope so. After 200 yards, turn left. 
Right, okay, I need to move across then. Oh my God, the tram! Unless you're a very experienced driver, then forget it. Forget driving in the center of Milan. There's like double parking, like it's allowed. Maybe it is allowed. No, this is nuts. This is insane. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. What is this road? Okay, it's green straight, but red left and right. This is mad. I'm never gonna hear another complaint from anybody about driving in London. Can I even turn left here? The sign says I can turn left and the sat nav says turn left. I can turn left here. There's just loads of pedestrians in the road. Cool. This is so stressful. The bonus of being in the back streets like these is that it's suddenly not busy, but we're faced with new challenges. We're faced with challenges like pedestrians. We're faced with challenges like the narrowness of the streets. These streets were not designed for cars at all. And anything could be around these corners because cyclists and mopeds seem to do whatever they want. Pedestrians aren't scared of cars. Wait, this is a crossing though. So if I just stop, is that normal? Is she going to look at me like I'm crazy? Still haven't worked out if the zebra crossings are mandatory or optional because people seem to just plough through them and I don't really understand the logic. I'm sure someone's going to tell me though in the comments. No way! Look how narrow it is! How is everyone just driving on it like it's completely normal? I don't want to run anyone over. That's probably worse than losing my deposit for the car. This, the guy actually in the shop, in the Centuro. Turn right, then. Go straight on. The car hire spot asked me where I was going. I said, Milan, this is why he's hit me with the humongous deposit. Driving here is treacherous. Sharp left, then turn left. The sat nav's gone completely haywire. It thinks I'm facing the wrong direction. Absolutely insane. There's one reversing, there's cars coming from there, there's pedestrians going. Sharp left, then turn left. Left, right and centre and the sat nav's not telling me where to go. This is, oh my Turn right, God. then turn right. <gasps> Look at the wall. The wall has a hundred different paint, paint scuff marks on it. When the guy said, give me a deposit at the Centuro rental shop, I was like, Bro, I'm a driving instructor. I ain't gonna crash After your car. Yards, turn right, then turn left. I was like, bro, hold my pint of water. <laughs> the level of hazard in this area is through the roof. <laughs> Those cars have actually crashed. That blue one is in the back of the white one. They are touching, they are actually touching. Oh my God, the traffic lights, yes. Oh my God, right. Chill for a minute. God damn. Am I getting beeped? Who's beeping me? What? Where am I supposed to? What's going on? Keep focused till the end. That's what you say to people on their driving test. You say, it's not over until it's finished. Keep focused all the way until the end. Advice like that has never been more useful than here. Now, all I need is parking, one, and pizza, two. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. Yeah! Milan clocked it. A, didn't crash the car. B, I'm safe. C, I'm, well, I was gonna say I'm not stressed. I'm extremely stressed. Negotiated it. You have reached your destination. Dealt with all of the Italian drivers. Let's park up here. Absolutely completed it, mate. Yes. 
Okay, we've stopped here for a specific reason. There's a shop called, a pizza shop called Spontini over there and it's the best pizza shop that I've ever had in Italy. I've been to Italy quite a lot in the past. Um, but it's closed. So I'm so hungry. I was like, I'm not having this anymore. I've been to Carrefour. I've got a chicken and bacon sandwich, a monster, cause your boy got up at 4 a.m. Another one called Burn Energy Drink, which should be interesting. Tastes exactly like Red Bull. And Milk Pro Protein, cause I haven't had any protein today. <laughs> your boy gyms so that's the haul that's their food still going to try and get some pizza on the way back but mission complete for the most part peace see you in the next one i'm done